Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks Lesson, Receiving Payments and Making Deposits. One of the greatest things about business is receiving money from our customers, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to record customer payments and record a payment in, in uh, full for a single job. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, how to record that payment that our customer gives us which is the greatest thing on earth, receiving money. That's what we're in business for. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up our customer menu so we can actually look at our, our customer center. Or from the customer menu, we can say receive payments. Receive payments is uh, it comes up in the window, and the first individual we're going to go ahead and receive money from is, is say, Violet Mike, and we're going to choose the job workshop. We notice that there is an amount due there and the amount that we're going to receive from him is in full for that particular job. And the amount due is 47, 32 and 23 cents is the amount of the check that we received from Mr. Mike Wallet. The payment method we're going to make sure is choo uh, we're going to choose check. As you notice, there are a variety of methods that we can receive money from. We can actually receive credit cards, and there's also online payments as well. But that's a much uh, later lesson. So we're going to choose check. The check number that we're going to put in here for that check is 6745, and we'll hit tab. We can also put in a memo that this is payment in full. and hit tab. Notice that when we put in the amount, it automatically checks the open invoice. If we had multiple invoices, it would check the latest or the oldest invoice first and so forth. So we will go ahead and show you that a little bit later, but this is how we have it. We have that the check is being applied in full to this particular invoice. And at this point in time, we can say save and new. Now notice that what happens in the transaction in, in QuickBooks is when we receive that, it's going to debit an account called undeposited funds because we haven't assigned it a bank account yet. So it goes ahead and creates this undeposited funds account and it credits that receivable invoice. So if we wanted to look at things, we can pull down our lists and look at chart of accounts and we would notice that there is an undeposited funds area here, an account. It's just a holding account until we assign those funds a deposit in a particular bank account. If we have multiple bank accounts, maybe we have a payroll account, maybe we have an operating account or other bank accounts, we can actually deposit those funds into multiple different various accounts. So it holds the money in undeposited uh, account. And we will go ahead and show you how to make deposits a little, little bit later. But just notice that, that it does put in the deposit that we just made, 4732.23, into this holding account called undeposited funds, and it credits the accounts receivable account, lowering the amount of what our customers owe us. So now we've learned.